Hi everyone. Uh, we're a little overdue, I know. Uh, people have been uh, hoping for an update and uh, we've been a bit uh, busy with the, the fundraiser and uh, the week leading up to it was quite a bit and uh, the day was a fantastic day and I'm sure you've heard we raised uh, $44,000 which is outstanding. But uh, Christine and I have been a bit run down and uh, we both picked up a bit of a cold and I've had a chest cold and head cold so we're a little behind with updating the website and and uh, touching base with everyone so I just thought I'd take uh, a moment today and, and let everyone know that uh, we appreciate everything so much and uh, things were fantastic and we couldn't have asked for any more and I also uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, if you haven't heard, we uh, had an offer of a donation from the Larry Gibson Estate Fund and uh, they proposed that we challenge the city to raise $20,000 and they will match it, uh, which should get us to our goal of $200,000. Uh, I know the bar hasn't been updated, but we're sitting approximately around $160,000 right now. Uh, things are looking great. And uh, rather than thank everyone, family and friends, and uh, the list is huge, I thought I would uh, maybe give a special thanks to some of the kids that have helped out and done some unbelievable things for us. Uh, Two young girls, Gracie Peters and Allie Thoroughby, have taken it upon themselves to bake cookies and have a small bake sale. And uh, they went to the fire hall and post office and sold cookies and raised uh, over two hundred dollars. Sorry, over two hundred dollars for us and uh, sent it over and dropped it off. And uh, you know I. I have never even met these girls, and I know their parents, but it's it's just uh, fantastic, you know, and it really helps to lift the spirits, and I just really wanted to thank you girls personally, and, and also uh, another friend of mine, his, his sons, uh, Braden and Parker, Parker Bates, uh, right away when we started the fundraiser, they decided to donate uh, some money out of their own bank accounts and and then uh, they also did some fundraising at their school and uh, I've known these boys their whole lives and they uh, managed to raise another sixty dollars for us and I've saved their their envelope as well and you know I also just wanted to let them know and you know boys you've known me a long time and I don't want you to worry and uh, you know that I'm a pretty tough guy so I'm gonna fight the fight and I don't want you guys to worry about me at all and we're gonna get through this and I really appreciate what you've done for me and I will also see you soon so and uh, Ashley and Kayla Hedrick they, uh, another friend of mine, they're friends of ours, their two daughters, uh, they actually came to the fundraiser late afternoon. Their grandmother brought them over and, uh, these two girls presented me with an envelope uh, with $1,100 in it that they had raised doing a bottle drive and uh, bottle drives throughout Sydenham and at their school and they had been working in their grandfather's barn and saved all the money they had been earning and, and donated it for my uh, special trip they called it to the to the USA uh, because they know I'm sick and they're very worried so you know I just can't thank them enough and, and I love you girls and I just wanted to say thanks and you know, these type of things, they really make a difference, and 
Thank you. And we'll uh, we'll talk soon.